Hey Elementor users, if you're having trouble with your SVGs in Elementor and changing the color of them, I'm going to show you how to solve that issue. So I'm working on an updated business website and this is my services section and I have a number of icon widgets that Elementor provides. And so these are my services. So when I hover over one of these, you can see that the background color changes. Inside here, I have an SVG icon up at the top. I've got a heading as well as some text. I just recorded another video showing you how to actually colorize um, these child elements when hovering over the background because by default, you can't do that. So go ahead and check out that video if you're trying to accomplish something similar. But I also ran into this issue and here it is down here when I hover over website maintenance. So I downloaded this SVG icon set online and I'm not sure if they were not saved correctly or if others run into this issue, but you can see that the initial color of this SVG is black. However, when I hover over it, um, there was still some internal white colors in this SVG inside of here. And so when applying a fill value or like a fill a CSS change to that icon when hovering over this parent, it looked like this and it really didn't look good. So I'm gonna show you how to solve that um, by editing your SVG and making sure that it is ready and editable should you wanna change the color, okay? So I will use Adobe Illustrator in order to edit this SVG file and resave it. However, I'm sure you can use other vector-based programs in order to solve that. So let me open Illustrator. So I have Illustrator open here, it's just a blank file. And here I'm gonna show you I'm going to bring over these SVGs. So these are the SVGs that I downloaded online. Um, I'll open this up here, website maintenance, as well as digital marketing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to correct these. So let me pop back over here. So we'll start off with website maintenance. I already have digital marketing working okay, but we'll still go through that as well. So website maintenance. So in Illustrator, I've got that open. I'm going to simply drag in my website maintenance SVG into Illustrator. It's giving me this uh, issue, clipping will be lost. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Let's just see how the file looks. And it looks okay. So I'm gonna zoom right in, and I'm going to select my SVG here, and I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm going to rele release the clipping mask. And I'm essentially just releasing it so that I can specifically select just uh, the black uh, outlines here, okay? So let's see if I can select the outside here and there's a background or a container, let's just delete that. Now if I select it all, you can see it's just this black area here, okay? Now I'm going to go to object, uh, I'm gonna head over to, I believe it's path, and we're going to choose outline stroke. So after we outline the stroke, this is something that is specific for Elementor, but I'm going to actually have to change the color. So it looks like a black here, but I'm going to double click on the fill color after I have all of my elements selected, and I'm going to change the color to 000000, which is black. I think that's six of them. There we go. So that is the color that Elementor is looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and we will export as uh, we're going to call this website maintenance we'll just go new uh, we're going to ensure format is svg we'll choose export these are the settings that i'm using internal css the font is svg preserve layer names and then we have decimals uh two minify is checked and we're going to choose okay so that is saved. I'll go ahead and I'll just hide Illustrator for now. Let's go back to our editor. And so again, this is the old icon. That's what it looked like. So now let's go ahead and let's choose Upload SVG. I will choose Upload Files. Go to my folder and this is our new one. So actually before we upload it, let's just have a look here. So this is the original SVG. We'll preview it and we'll move up. This is the new one. So you'll see we've just essentially taken out that background container and now it's flushed at the end. So let's see how this works out. Let's drag this new SVG in. Let's choose insert media and let's hover over. So now you can see that the, the uh, color is changing, okay? Because now we're targeting, the SVG is now saved correctly. So now you're able to adjust these fill values or color values for it throughout your website easily. 
So let's go ahead and do, we'll do one more. We'll choose digital marketing. Let's go walk through the process of doing it. So here we are. I will, in Illustrator, I'll drag in digital marketing. Choose okay, we're not worried about that. We'll zoom in. We'll select this. We'll release any clipping masks that are set. We'll grab, delete any background elements that, uh, again, that's white there. So now we'll select it all. Object, path, outline stroke. So now we're turning all of those strokes into just uh, straight paths. This is super important. This will not work unless you change this fill color to 000000. 000, 000. Okay. Now, file export as SVG. We'll title this the same SVG hyphen new. We'll save that. It's got the same uh, SVG export options. Now let's go back. Let's just change it uh, so that uh, we can see the chain. You know what? We'll do it under website maintenance. And we'll choose upload SVG, upload files, digital marketing new insert media let's just hover over this and you'll see that is working so if you run into this issue before i hope you found this video helpful if you did go ahead leave a comment below we'll see you in the next video